时候。You know, they say that people in certain specializations have a tendency to be more depressed than others. For Ling Xiao to have anxiety? I think that's normal. It's probably because he's too smart. That doesn't make sense. It's got nothing to do with being smart. Then it has to be his mother's fault. <sighs> Imagine me having a mother-in-law like that. That would be horrible. Uh, why don't we choose a book that's so boring it lulls people to sleep? What about 100 Years of Solitude? That will magic him to sleep. Right, let's get this one. This will knock him out. Let's go. We still have to buy the wallpaper. Thank you, sir. Sure. Thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye. Take care. Ready? Ready. This is gonna work. Of course. Your mood will improve if you're more relaxed. You can sleep better. <laughs> okay, be careful. Yeah, okay. I need to change shoes. Okay, you're okay. I have to shower. You can't. You're not supposed to wet those wounds yet, right? Try to put it I off. I swear I can't. I'm itching all over. Hey, Jin Jin. Oh, no, Ling Xiao. Oh, uh, help me shower. What are you staring at? Help me out. Everything is itchy. Let's go. Be careful with your wounds. I will. So lucky. Must be nice to have a brother. <laughs> a brother to help you shower? <laughs> Call them for dinner. We have hot pot. Zichos wounded and you ask for hot pot? I'm making it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hey! You're not eating? We're back! Welcome. Hey! Come over here. Come in, come in. Do you remember him? High school classmate? He was good at basketball? The gorilla? Chuang Bei. This is Chi Ming Ye. Uh, I remember. Good to see you.
Hey, guys, okay? We're old friends. Come on in. Uh, yeah, of course. Old friends. Add me on WeChat? Uh, sure, but my phone's still charging. Okay, may I sit? Hey, where's Kang san? She made all these side dishes for us, but it's you she's afraid of. This counts as you hitting me, okay? Of course not. I didn't mean it. Well, then hit me on purpose. Huh? Huh? It's fine. You can make me ugly. You're crazy. Is this how you apologize? Don't be mad at me anymore. You shouldn't joke about things like that, you know. I apologize. All along, I thought you knew that he was okay. I promise. It won't happen again. Say you forgive me, please. Jan Jan, you can hit me. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Come on. Hit me! Mwah. I love you. No hitting. Aww. Come here. Jian oh, Jian, my baby, my sweet baby angel. <laughs> Congrats to the happy couple for finding true love. Come, <laughs> join us. <laughs> Your crush is here. Zhuang Pei. I need makeup. <laughs> Why do you need to put on makeup? We're having dinner at home. No makeup's good. <laughs> you guys are lazy and you will never understand the point. Eating time! Johnson. Uh, she's just cleaning up. We can start. Oh, okay, okay. Let's have dinner. What do you want? Meatballs. Here. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, no worries. All right, before we start, here's a toast to Zhu Cho for escaping yeah. death. Cheers! Okay, okay, cheers. Cheers! cheers. Thank you. Give me some meatballs. Wait, let me dip it first. Fine. Meatballs! <laughs> oh, wait a minute! Doesn't this have some garlic? Won't that be bad for his wounds? I want meatballs. It's an antibiotic. Oh, I'm good. I'm finally free from all that porridge. Give me some time. Ooh, hot, hot. Be careful, it's hot. <laughs> hey! Why are you here? <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Cho invited me to dinner. Oh, help yourself. Don't be shy. After all, you are my client. Huh? Chuang Pei's your client? Yeah. Hey, can I have a beer? Here's to us. To working together. Here's to us. Mm. <laughs> I'm very happy. Everyone eat up. This is on me. Cheers. Drink. As long as you're buying. Cheers, Cheers everyone. Cheers. Cheers. And Zucho. Those two are. They're all right. They're my good friends. I remember Dad's <laughs> the three of them? They've been together forever, since they were kids. You know what I think? Don't pick boyfriends with sisters, because they will always put their sister ahead of you. I don't think so. 
they're very caring towards their sister, they'll do the same with their girlfriends. But those two, they're not Jian Chan's biological brothers. And I think one day the two of them will fall in love. Li Jian Jian and Zhu Chou? Or maybe Ling Xiao and Jian Jian. <laughs> That's not possible. <laughs> Ling Xiao already has someone. Ethos, come on. <laughs> Ling Xiao already has someone? Who? Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough. It's bad for you. <laughs> We're celebrating! Jin Jin, did Tang Chen teach you to drink? Obviously. <laughs> You're wrong! You always think that Tang San is something of a party animal. Actually, the drinking and the karaoke? That's teaming Ye. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> I want some beer. Say, brother. Brother. You can't. You're injured. You can't drink. Give me some veg. Sing this part. Got me thinking. What if Zucho really had it bad? I would feel horrible. <laughs> bro? Little bro? Welcome home. I'm happy you're home. <laughs> beer, 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 beer! Come on, get me one. Are we back to the good old days? Oh, yes, we are. Hey, let's drink. <laughs> okay. Come on. Here. Cheers! This is good. But I have to be. Hold it in. We're having a moment. You want my bladder to burst? Mm. <laughs> let's go. Uh, well, I am... Is this uh, Li Jen Jen? Yeah. Are you Qin Mei Yang? My brother... I mean, your brother went to the toilet. When is he coming back? He just went to the toilet. I'm going to tell him to call you back. I mean, when is he coming back to Singapore? He told me he'll be back here in a month. Whatever. Tell him to call me back. Bye. I think she's had okay, enough. Get up and sing. Get up, get up. Jen Jen. She's asleep. Jen Jen. Let me help. Jen Jen, let's go to your room. Her slipper. 
There, you sing. about. She's very much an adult now, you know. She's dating someone. I used to think that Zhang Shiran is a little weird, but now I think he's fine. He's not a bad guy. Besides, she's all grown up now, so we can't control her. She can do what she wants. Of course she can. Just not him. <laughs> feel better not having a brother. You're right. She probably hates me. I didn't say I hate you. I hope someday there will be someone to protect me, like you with her. Really? Yeah, really. Be more confident. No one would hate you. Clean your face first. What is it? What's the matter? Oh, it's her socks. Fine, no need to walk me out. So I'm going to your place next time? Yeah, is that the dinner with my mom? Did you add her on WeChat? Yeah, I have. Um, right. I'm going home now. Okay. Goodbye. Wait a sec! Wait up! Wait up! Sorry, but isn't this your phone? Uh -huh. I forgot. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> so, I'm going now. Mm. Bye mm -hmm. now. <laughs> Why did he take our picture? So his phone will have a photo of a pretty girl like me. <laughs> so gross.
Strawberry jam. Strawberry jam. Chen Chen. Yesterday, I saw a call from Chin Mei Yang. You picked up? Oh. Uh. But I didn't mean to. I thought that it was my phone. I forgot to tell you. She said you should call back. Uh. Did she tell you anything? Uh. Just for you to return her call. <laughs> you going to the cafe? Can you work with those hands? I have to go. I don't even know how my cafe is doing. <laughs> how nice. You sound like a business owner. Of course. I'll take care of you and dad in the future. Answered Ling Xiao's phone. It was a call from Ling Xiao's sister in Singapore. What happened? Ling Xiao told them that he'll be back there after a month. Why do you believe her? He has a job here. Why would he leave? Yes, I know hmm? that. But that means that Ling Xiao lied to them just so they would let him come here. That's right. No wonder his evil mom allowed him to come here. So what now? We can't do anything. He's probably worried. <sighs> Did you also have to lie to Cho Hua Guang? Of course not. He doesn't control my life. <laughs> That's great. He can't touch you. What's funny? It's his dad. Cho Hua Guang, not my dad. He's your biological dad. Will you Happy? stop saying... Oh. You see that? Eats my food and mashes my table. I'm fine, I'm fine. Eat up. Oh my, we've already scheduled a date with her. Can you believe that Hai Chao is calling it off? <sighs> hey, Ha Ping. Why don't you go instead? It's perfect. A policeman and a teacher, you're a good pair. Oh no, ma'am. I finally get to have a two-day break. Don't give me more work to do, okay? <laughs> oh my, it's not work, it's a blind date. Hey, could you talk to Hai Chao? You two are best friends. To tell you the truth, I can't convince him. Tell him to forget about He Mei. He Mei? Yes. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm sure he's forgotten about her. That was ages ago. Back in those days, when he was willing, he had several matches, but he only wanted her maid. Their relationship was doing so well, they were supposed to get married. In the end, her maid got cold feet. That's why he's nervous about dating now. Oh, I didn't know that. Of course you don't. Excuse me, Ju. Hey, why isn't Mr. Lee back from grocery shopping? He's not at the grocery store. He went to see Zichou. Huh? <laughs> Your coffee. Thank you. Your pie. Thank you. Thank Welcome. You. Please order inside. Hey, Dad. You're here. <laughs> oh, my. You still have injuries. Why are you here? The wounds are starting to dry out, Dad. See? I'm fine. Oh, hi, Mr. Huh? That's wrong. His name is Lee. I didn't take this. Oh, hello, Mr. Lee. <laughs> you can go back to work. Okay. Oh, wait. Please make some tea. Yes, of course. Dad, let's sit upstairs. Sure. Hey. What did you bring? I made fried dumplings. Fried dumplings? Awesome. <laughs> Have they gone cold? No, they're fine. Still warm. That's good. That's good. Try them both. They're different. <laughs> Dad, does my cafe look all right? It's nice. So how's business going? This is just a self-opening. Lots of people come. Oh, that's good. Starting a business can be very risky. It's never easy. And young business owners can be impulsive. A new cafe without long-term planning? Don't worry, Dad. I worked part-time at a coffee shop. I shadowed all the workers, from the cook to the waiter. I didn't do this on impulse. Did you? All along, I thought that you worked at a hotel restaurant. 
Why did you work at a cafe? <laughs> to start a cafe when I got back. So, I chose to work there, at the cafe, to learn the business. <sighs> you kids are crazy. You call with good news, but you keep the bad news. Just like Ling Xiao. Every time he calls, I'm good, I'm all right. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm all right. Just not sleeping so well. It turns out, he has anxiety, depression. Don't hide these things from me again, okay? Yes, okay, Dad. It's not about keeping it from you. It's because we're so far apart, and you shouldn't worry. And I'm not like Ling Xiao. His mom and his sister, they depend on him too much. How could you sleep in his situation? <sighs> that boy has his problems, but his story is not your story to tell, huh? Don't gossip about it. Okay, then I won't. I know that you harbor some resentment. Okay, now tell me. In all those years, have, have you tried looking for... for your mother? <laughs> Why look for her? She abandoned me. She's not a bad person. Oh. Chanting us reasons. Who may is not bad? Dad, you think every person is good. She knew that you're a kind of person that should adopt strays off the streets. Uh, what do you mean about that? Talking about adopting strays? You and Ling Xiao? You two are stray cats and dogs? <sighs> Why, you have her number? Well, if you want, I can ask around for it. Dad, give it up. It's been a long time. She probably don't remember us. Don't worry about it. And anyway, what would I even tell her? You guys are my family. The rest, they're strangers. Our relationships are often complicated. Okay. What do I know, right? Listen, that's not what I was saying. I understand what you mean. This is what you wanted to say. Nothing is absolute. Not educated enough to talk about philosophy. <laughs> I can't say much of that. But I'm an old man, and experience counts too, right? So here's my two cents. Not all wars must be fought, right? People come, and people go. Everyone has their own timing. <laughs> what are you trying to say? You're saying, hold on? To let things happen? Exactly. Dad, you're saying let things happen, but earlier? You said to seek her out. And they're opposites. <laughs> <laughs> that used to be my job, to tell you to let it go. But now it's your turn to tell me to let things go. Dad, I have to do more than that. I have to take care of you. Good news. I let you handle my problems. Can I retire? You do that. <laughs> <laughs> try, try that one. It's a different feeling. Oh, this one? Yes, try that one. I've told the driver about your situation, so he checked the itinerary. He picked her up along Washing Road and dropped her off at the business district. Running releases dopamine. Dopamine makes you feel a lot better. When we get tired, we head back for a bath, and then we can sleep better. I'm a doctor. I know how it works. But you're a dentist, and it's not your teeth that need help. You be my doctor. I'm no doctor, but at the same time, I know very well. What you need is forgiveness. What I need is therapy. You're my therapy. <laughs> you're so freaking gross, too cheesy. I'm serious, and that room makeover you did, that was helpful. I didn't do it all by myself. Mingya had a lot of ideas. Who bought the book? <laughs> I did. I really think it's a good book. And there were really good passages. Yeah. Hey, here's an example. I finally know that one cannot withstand everything that life throws at us, and that the hmm? shadow of a cloud can at times suffocate. Why'd you smile? 
I wasn't kidding. You're my therapy. Hey, will you let that go? Disgusting. Uh, do you know what next Saturday is? It's my mom's 21st death anniversary. I know that. Dad Lee told me. <sighs> Imagine? It's been 21 years. 21 years my dad has lost her. 21 years he's cared for us. I had a happy childhood, but he had a hard time. And now I regret telling him that I didn't want a stepmother. Hey, do you remember Zucho's mom? I do, but I didn't really see her a lot. Just when, when she picked up Zucho. She was pretty, but she was very cold to us. Why are you suddenly mentioning her? Because I think she stopped seeing Dad because of me. Why do you think that? If I wasn't a blind date and his daughter was being difficult, I'd run away. Also, at that time, Zucho was obsessed with calling my dad his dad. She didn't really mind, but I was worried that after she married my dad, she would abuse me. I even cried myself to bed under my blanket. <laughs> you were under your blanket eating candies. <laughs> candies make me feel better, okay? It's a strategy. Sure. I didn't get why people would want to get married. That's why I was such a pain. But it's all good. My brothers are back. And now, the three of us can be with our dads. Let's run. Chase that dopamine! Hey! Come on, come on! Run faster! <laughs> Chase that high! Hi, Aunt. I've been working a lot. I'll visit soon. <laughs> okay, I'll tell Dad about it. Come over for dinner. No, it's all right, it's all right. Okay, I'll see you then. All right, thank you. Your aunt's coming? Yeah. She's going to the city to buy doc medicine, so after that she's going to come over. Gonna shower. Okay. Hey, Ling Xiao, your phone. Hey, it's your mom. to Singapore? Mm. You have a patient? Yeah. <laughs> Coffee's on me. Thank you. Please put it down on the counter. You're too formal. We're colleagues, you know. <laughs> Do you want to watch a play tomorrow? It's called Secret Love in Peach Blossom Land. I'm sorry. I'll be flying to Singapore. You've only been here for a month. What's this about? That girl you like? I'm no jinx, but long distance relationships, they don't work. Yeah, I agree. They're very hard to maintain. But I'm lucky. The girl that I like lives here. She lives here? But didn't you leave right after high school? It happened sometime before. A schoolmate? Something like that. Classmate? Two years younger. Ling Xiao, Xi Xi. Ming Ye, you're here. Yeah, for cleaning. Who's your doctor? Uh, the name's Dr. Feng. That's me. Can you stop being mean to my boyfriend? All I know is art. What other boyfriend can I have? I didn't bring him up. Let's talk about him. <laughs> I know that he likes to look at girls, but he's not really into them. It's just like when I was still young and I'd have a candy jar beside me. So the girls that he looks at, they're like the candy jar. You understand? If you like someone, you don't have to get my approval. I'm not getting your approval. I just don't want you guys to misunderstand him. We're not. We honestly don't like him. Why not? Never mind. 
Open up. I'll see you when I get back. Back from where? Singapore. You're going to Singapore? I'm not gonna stay. I just need to do something. I'll be back before your mom's death anniversary. Now lie down and don't move. I'm trying to work. Open up. Open up. <sighs> Ling Xiao's sister, did you go to school with her? Mm, yeah, we were classmates. So Ling Xiao must have been popular back then, huh? Yeah, I guess so. But he was very quiet, and people wouldn't approach him. Do you know if he had a high school crush? That's two years younger than him? Would you know who? Ling Xiao told you about that girl? Ah, uh, it came up randomly in conversation. He said he had a crush on someone two years younger. Two years? Do you know her? Uh, how would I know that? Yeah, of course. It's his secret. Why would he talk to you about very personal things? Uh, I guess we get along well. We go out to dinner, have coffee, and we watch plays together. <laughs> Please lie down. Lee Jen Jen, do you know who your brother's first love is? Well, if she's his friend and she's two years younger, who else but you, right? Are you upset your brother likes me? He's going back to Singapore. Did you know that? Why is he going to Singapore? He just got here, right? He told his mom he'd only be here for a month. But he's coming back, right? He said by Friday. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. <laughs> Didn't you used to like my younger brother? Why do you have to mention that now, huh? <laughs> You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> don't think I won't hurt you back because you're my sister-in-law. I don't like Zucho, okay? Yeah, 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 whatever. Okay, what's for lunch? Nothing. Mom wants to see me. You can go to your studio. What does your mom want from you this time? She's going out to lunch with her friend. Someone who hasn't seen me for a while, that's all. Okay, later, sister-in-law. You're not going to stop. I said stop it, stop it, <laughs> stop it! <laughs> Mom, mm. Auntie Chen. Mingyue, there you are. Come, have a seat. Didn't I tell you earlier? I said dress up a little for our lunch. Auntie Chen has known me since I was a child. Why do I have to dress up for her? You're being silly, Mom. And why choose a Western restaurant? I thought you wanted hot pot. Chaoshan hot pot? Uh, but at your age, don't you usually prefer to dine in places with an ambiance like this? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Do we have a guest? Oh, right. Did your husband come with you? Uh, no, not my husband. You see, he just went to the restroom. It's fine, I'll tell her. Uh, here's the thing. When I went to Auntie Chan's office, they had this fresh-faced new hire in their department. So I asked about him. And I've learned that he has a master's degree. Both his parents work for the government, and he's currently single. Mingye, consider your workplace. You'll have a hard time meeting men that are your age. <laughs> so that's why I asked your Auntie Chan to invite him for lunch, for you to get to know each other. Mom, why didn't you tell me this was a blind date? But it's not a blind date. You two just have to get to know each other and be friends. This is just like your social activities in university. Hey, there you are. Come, sit down. Let me introduce you. This is Mrs. Chi's daughter, Chi Mingyue. Mingyue, this is Lu. Lu Jinyang. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, now sit down. Lu, order whatever you want from the menu. Oh, here. Order anything. Uh -huh. The food here is good. Hmm? 
Going to the toilet? Go ahead. Mom, I have an interview later, so I have to go. Mrs. Chan introduced a man to you, and you leave in the middle of lunch? Do you know how embarrassing that'll be for her? Mom, please stop setting me up. I'm just 25. I don't need this blind date. Huh. You were calling Mom when I was your age. If I don't set up dates for you, where in the world are you going to find anyone suitable? You didn't even bother to ask if there's someone I like. <laughs> okay, then let me ask you now. Do you have someone that you're interested in? I do. Who is it? Do I know him? No more nonsense, huh? Let's not play games. I think that boy is going to be a good partner. He's an honest man. Add him on WeChat first, okay? I've asked my friends to help you out. Let's find another one. But I already like someone, Mom. <sighs> All right. Bring him home and we'll see. Sure. I'll bring him home to you. Don't underestimate me. <laughs> All right. I'll be waiting, okay? And that plan of yours to work in Beijing? Give it up. No ifs or buts. Prepare for the civil service exam. Mom! I've already made the decision, all right? Now go to the bathroom and come back to finish the meal. Just. 